In today's video, we're doing a dining room refresh for fall. I have my painting clothes on and I am ready to go. I am ready to get rid of this black accent wall. I think three years ago, I think it was in 2021. It might've been 2022. I wanted to add like a little just dark accent in here and I, it's been fine. It served its purpose, but it's kind of getting on my nerves. <laughs> and I'm like, fall is the perfect time to just make over this dining room. I am so ready to see just the beautiful hues and aesthetics of fall in this space. Cause this is one of my favorite uh, places. Like you come into my house right here and dining room is the first room right here on the right. It's open. It's something that you see right off the bat. So I'm super excited to just give it a nice little refresh. Let's get going. your back. Yeah, was, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. enjoying having it back to the natural color that I had in here. So the first coat's done is drying and I called in the reinforcements. I called in the big gun, Jason, to come do it. If you saw the brush flick out of my hand, I, well, and if you follow me over on Instagram, I recently was telling you guys about how my neck has been really sore and I haven't been able to turn my head to the right and my fingers are numb. Well, my fingers are numb and that just causes me to like, drop things and not be able to hold them and then it like tingles and it starts hurting so then i'm trying to like double use my hands and oh my goodness gracious this is a pain in the booty but anyway so jason's gonna come do the, the second coat so i can wrap this part up and get to the fun part of decorating do, 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 my savior <laughs> thanks for doing the final coat yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm super excited because I got Jason a surprise and it just arrived, so I'm gonna get it out of the box. You guys know how Jason is always complaining about how hot he is, how much he's sweating, and boy, is it crazy. So I got him the new 704S Poly Fan and I am so excited to show it to him and all the features that it does. I can't wait to show this to Jason because he watches TV in his room all the time and we know that he does not want a loud fan where he's having to turn his TV up. So I'm super excited about that. I got you a surprise. All right, check this out. So this fan, not only can I control it from my phone, I also can do a remote. It works with Google Home, Alexa, all the nine yards. And wait till you feel the air circulation on this thing. I'm gonna crank it up and show you. It is so awesome. Yes, I'm gonna let you take over with the remote because it does, so you can play with it and figure out all the fun stuff that it does. And you can feel this air 110 feet away. And do you like how it's not super loud so that way you can watch TV? It's actually very quiet. Yeah. I like the oscillation up and down. That I've never seen that before and that's really cool. Look at that little baby piece of paper and how much that wind does. That is amazing. All right. Hit me with the turbo. 
I love how I have complete access right here on the app. If I want to switch it over to Turbo or do a custom, it is so simple and right at my fingertips. But not only does this fan look great in Jason's room, this fan is actually really beautiful. Looks great anywhere in my home. I love the aesthetics of it. I love the function of it. I highly recommend because the ease and convenience on top of how well it performs is something that I truly appreciate in my home. This is the perfect fan for experience experiencing a refreshing, relaxing, natural breeze while efficiently circulating indoor air. I'm going to leave a link down in the description box so you can head over and check out your own Dreo fan and a big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. All right, we got our hutch pushed back and here starts the decorating and a little bit of a dilemma that I'm having. So this picture right here is the star of the show and what I was basing my whole, like how I wanted to decorate for fall in here in the dining room. I feel like when I walk in the front door, you guys know I have this big light fixture here. I feel like it's blocking the view of it. And so I'm having second thoughts about it being here on my hutch. I just set it here with my lamps that I normally have here. And this is kind of how I decorate. I'm sure you guys are all the same way. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below if you're if you do this. I always shop with a purpose. I only buy things that I know that are usually absolutely gonna go, not just things like I like and buy them on a whim. It has to be kind of planned out because I don't want to waste money or have tons of stuff. This was what I thought I was gonna have here. But I think we're gonna have to play around and we're gonna do some things a little differently because let me show you this. I bought these beautiful florals that go with the florals that are in the picture. But I'll be honest, I don't want these florals next to this. So I have an idea and we're gonna do a little playing around and we're gonna see which way this looks the best. So I do like this here and we could do a little bit of stuff in the front, but I think this picture is gonna move over there and we're gonna move my vase up here. And then that way we have the same color palette going on in the room, but yet they're separate from each other and it's not too overpowering. And we'll be able to see the picture so much better. I think I'm liking this over here because when you walk in the front door, this is the first thing you see, so that's pretty great. The light is a little distorted because I got filming lights on it, but yeah, this is, I think we're on to something. I was originally going to use a black vase, but this one definitely calls for a white vase with the colors and all the white that's in the picture. This picture looks really beautiful and I think helps make the dark maroons and burgundies and pinks and everything pop. So we're going to go with this white vase. This is just a typical picture that I found at Target that I've had for several years. And I think that this is a great option for this and kind of goes with the aesthetics of what we're doing. I think one of the best things you can do and what I'm doing here in my home is I'm pretty much using things that I already own. I've got a couple new things and then I just build on that from what I have and see what I can incorporate to make it all kind of flow together. Now, normally I sometimes put like a runner or something on the top of this buffet, but I really just want to leave it just really like natural, kind of rustic and go from there and not add any more color in by putting, you know, some form of cloth down here. So we're going to leave that just really nice and organic.
feel like I just want to add a little bit more texture here to the bottom. Just give it, make it a little more visually appealing. And then we'll just add in a few little details. I think it'll look nice. Don't forget if you're enjoying today's video to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right, here in the center of my dining room table, I am going to put a throw down, uh, a table runner. I've had this for years, but I love the sparkle of the pumpkin that's in this and it's a neutral color because I don't want to take away from any of the colors that we added in. So I'm going to put this down the center of my dining room table and then that way I know it'll go nicely and it won't clash with anything and we can just add in some nice soft colors to the middle of this table also and tie it all together. So I have this pretty wooden tray here and this is going to be nice to kind of contain everything and then that way if we're going to eat I can just carry it away and then it also leaves the sides open to see the pretty sparkly pumpkins that are there. So. Not only is it gonna be beautiful, but it's gonna be functional. So a few years ago, I invested in these really pretty glass pumpkins from Pottery Barn. So if you guys are like me, if you make an investment like that, that's something you're gonna to wanna to use several years because you know, you spent a lot of money on that and you wanna get the most out of your money. So I always feel like I need to bring those back. <laughs> And so I'm gonna set those in here. And on top of that, they're so beautiful. Why wouldn't I wanna use them again? And then I have the little light up candles that are inside and you can just hit those with the timer or the remote control. But now this thing needs kind of like, these are beautiful, but they need the star of the show. So I'm gonna take this little tray and I'm gonna put this here. And then I'm going for this very like classic regal looking dining room, very Downton Abbey to me. And I feel like in white. So I feel like she needs to be in here and then she needs to have some beautiful florals that match everything coming out of the top of her. Oh, I like that vibe we're going for. It's always a little difficult when I'm doing it from behind, but then we're gonna just sparkle it up just a little bit more. Okay, then we have this beautiful sparkly pumpkin that's definitely gonna be in here really adds to the vibe that I'm going for. And then over on this side, we'll add another one that's a that, and then a white one. And then I have another pretty white one. You won't be able to see it from the front, but it's actually gonna go on the back because you gotta remember you can walk around this table, so you wanna make sure that everything is decorated completely around. I think this is really pretty, simple, classic draws your eye to it. It'll give really great candle light like we have going on behind. Kind of give me that glowy atmosphere that I'm looking for. I have a couple other little places. I always have these little hooks that are on here and sometimes just putting a cute little wreath kind of just adds a little something to the room. Make sure you always pay attention to small details. I have this little hook up here because I a lot of times, you know, like I had a wreath here before and a lot of times I hang one here, but obviously that looks tacky. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get this off here. I can't even remember how I have this attached. This ain't gonna be good for anybody. Maybe we won't be taking that off. Oh, I'm getting it. Oh. Ta-da! Oh my goodness gracious. Did that turn into a headache? But we got it. Get this clean and we're ready to go. And I didn't break the mirror.
So this next week, I think I'm gonna finish decluttering my basement, which you guys know has been such a big ordeal. So then the following week after that, we are getting right into all our fall decorating. I have some really awesome, simple fall decorating ideas that you're gonna enjoy. So make sure you come back and we'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.